Okay, we're on Lobon Street in Calvin City. And it's been the first, first court hearing today by some of the Fishball uh, Revolution protesters. We've uh, been leaving court over the last few hours. And what you're seeing here is uh, supporters of the protesters have uh, turned out in force to actually uh, block the press who earlier on today were actually being extremely intrusive, acting like a pack of vultures. And so now uh, a whole bunch of supporters have turned up to escort them out to these waiting taxis without uh, the cameras being right in their face. Uh, because this is uh, Lowland Road, the side entrance to the Kowloon City uh, Court here. The main entrance out on the front, uh, on the front on Nargal Street there. And uh, about midday, the uh, protesters uh, who have been charged today, about 38 of them, uh, started leaving in groups of five uh, every few minutes. The first group that came out, uh, there were no hardly any supporters then at that point. It was, but there was about uh, 30, 40 press members, and to get from this door. Uh, behind this tree here, out uh, out to the main road, uh, took a couple of minutes. Group number two was able to quickly rush out to a taxi, but then uh, the third group to get from this door to a taxi on the street here took uh, took three and a half minutes. There's video up on my Twitter account from earlier because uh, there was just like 30, 40 press surrounding the five protesters who had been released, uh, literally blocking them and, and forcing the protesters to push their way through to get the taxi as, as the press uh, to try to um, uh, pull off their face masks and get, uh, get clear shots of their faces there. Real kind of nasty paparazzi style uh, press work. But uh, I went to break for lunch and when I came back, what you have now is, uh, is this is almost entirely protesters, uh, supporters here and uh, the press numbers have dwindled. They've got their photos from earlier. And now any, all the groups that come out, uh, a taxi is prepared over here, uh, over by this uh, waiting group of police vans. This uh, young guy seems to be coordinating it. And then they bring the protesters out from the court uh, with holding up pieces of cardboard and, uh, and jackets to make sure that the, the press can't uh, sort of surround them, delay them, intimidate them, and, uh, and go for photographs. So this is the, the aftermath of the events of, uh, of Monday night when they had uh, the so-called Fishball Revolution, the uh, riot in Mongkok. And later everyone is joined. So yeah, this is uh, the Kowloon City uh, Law Courts. And uh, the proceedings were supposed to start at 9.30 this morning. They got delayed to 11 a.m. and uh, and uh, most have been charged, uh, given uh, bail between 5,000 and uh, 20,000 Hong Kong dollars. You'll have to uh, look up what that is in your local currency. It's uh, quite a significant amount. And uh, lots of them have been, uh, been told they can't, or the condition of their bail is that they're not permitted to return to Mong Kok, but the events happened. Even though some of them work there and their lawyer's office is there, so they have to give 20, 24 hours notice before they turn up there. Yeah, so this was another, another group coming out here. So as you can see, they're, they're, the supporters now, uh, there's a lot of supporters turned up uh, since lunchtime. Uh, it's good to see. So they're holding up uh, blankets and jackets. And they're going to make sure they get into this taxi without uh, being disturbed by the press there. <coughs> I'm not going to get any closer because I've got no interest in showing their faces and, and, and being part of the, the process. It is worth remembering that even though they have been uh, arrested, there's, uh, they, uh, there's not a sign of guilt. The, pro the police were just grabbing anybody that night, so it's, it's not a sign that they have evidence, it's not a sign that these people are guilty, it's just that these were the people that the police have, uh, were able to grab, very often from uh, predetermined lists and groups of, uh, of uh, people they don't like. So it's, this will all be thrashed out the courts later. That's why it's very important that they get these people a chance to get into the taxis unhindered, so they, don't, uh, since they won't prejudice their trial. And, uh, and won't be intimidated, especially by the pro-Beijing groups who are obviously very keen to ID them and, uh, and uh, pillory them in the press and on social media. So uh, all the support, all the, seeing all these supporters here uh, now is uh, it's cheered me up a lot because this morning it was, it was just really nasty uh, vulture paparazzi press tactics in the way that they were surrounding them and delaying them. I say I do have a video of that on my Twitter feed. You can go back to about, um, about half past 12. Uh, I've got videos showing just how distasteful that was. Um, there, were, there were some uh, 
and the big TV cameras up the back there. There were some reporters uh, just staying back with the zoom lenses, being respectful, but uh, about 30 of them were just surrounding, actually getting into fights with some of the supporters almost. So it's uh, at least now they're being given a dignified exit, which uh, for people who are uh, accused and uh, not found guilty is the, the, the very uh, minimum they deserve. Yeah, so this this uh, this morning there were just about uh, no supporters here, but uh, since the lunchtime break, uh, it's, I, it's, uh, it's it's now almost entire supporters. I've seen at least, uh, a couple of the, uh, of the student leaders, um, student union leaders here. There's uh, Yvonne Lang is, uh, is 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 over the main group by the door there, and uh, another one who's his face I'm familiar with, but whose name escapes me. So. Yeah, so they've got this taxi covered with, with cardboard and bags and cardigans here. Make sure that they have a more dignified getaway than they were having this morning. Things seem to be being a bit more helpful now um, uh, than they were this morning. At, at first it seemed to be that they were um, helping flag down taxis and get people in and then they seemed to kind of back off a bit. But, uh, but now the protesters are taking things in their own hands. They're making sure that uh, that tax is in place before the protesters actually leave uh, the, uh, the court entrance itself. And then, then they escort them all the way through. And uh, that seems to have discouraged uh, the pack of press that were there earlier. So I think uh, they said that uh, they were, um, they could be, the hearing's going to be in about eight weeks. Uh, today was just the initial charge. Do I foresee more riots happening in the future? Well, the important thing uh, to take from uh, Monday night's events is that since then, um, no fewer than seven student unions have come out in, uh, in, in unqualified support of the uh, of the actions of the night and of, and of the protesters that night. Um, in particular, the Hong Kong University Student Union, uh, where they uh, they said, uh, "Forever uh, we stand with the rebels." And uh, they, 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 they declared it as a, as, a, as a new form of protest for Hong Kong. So there's the, 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 there seems to be a willingness to embrace these tactics if necessary, if they come under assault by the police again, if, um, if the authorities do actually uh, take action against them in the same way. So uh, there is a fundamental change there. But uh, as it needs to be pointed out, because these, uh, these young people here, and they are mostly very young, they have no democracy, they have no stake in society. If they had these things, if they had a voice in the process, there would not have been a riot. So it's it's all that frustration at lack of freedom and lack of progress that's uh, finally come bubbling up to the surface after uh, uh, decades of inaction. So, uh, yeah, but now it's, uh, there is this uh, change in attitude has to help as well. How many left still come out? Well, there were 38 uh, charged here today. I saw six groups come out early today. They seem to come out in groups of four or five. And uh, I broke for lunch. Uh, uh, the police have gone, so it looks like they've been coming out for a while. I was just walking past. I saw there were still uh, crowds here, and I've just seen like three or four groups come out. So uh, I think we must be nearing the end, but um, it's till, till the, so uh, it must be almost finished now. So yeah, with a car here. This is this is the uh, supporters of the protesters um, um, stepping up to uh, to cover the windows, just make sure that uh, the press can't. Because earlier on, the press were like crowding around the cars, preventing them from leaving. Uh, cameras jammed right up against the windows, uh, making so they couldn't even open the door to get in the first place. Trying to pull down the face masks of the uh, of, of, of the of, of the charged protesters. Uh, real vulture tactics. As I say, you'll see my. If you go back to like about uh, two, three hours on my tweets, you'll see that just to get from this doorway here to a taxi on the road here took three and a half minutes just for, for four or five people to walk that, what, 20 yards and get in the car because of the delay tactics of the press who were so keen that they had to get photographs of their face and, and get their identity. Oh, Gurley HLP, and uh, I sent you a message on Twitter. Thank you um, for encouraging people to follow the other day. I did appreciate that. I, I got a lot of extra followers in the end after being featured on Periscope, so uh, it's uh, just 
uh, helpful so that we have uh, more more witnesses to the events that perhaps you uh, could go with happen here. So. Yeah, normally we are very welcome in the press during protests when it's actually events on the streets there because it's important that we have evidence of what the police did uh, and, 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 and of any arrests there because uh, there have been a number of court cases recently where the police uh, uh, case has been thrown out of court because the video evidence has, has contradicted the statements of the police. So it's very important we have that record. But today it is just people leaving a court there and it's not being a witness to events, it is actually the, the press um, being as a paparazzi uh, creating uh, uh, an issue rather than actually uh, helping, helping solve one. So it's a completely different issue entirely. And uh, like some of the events you'll see, there's a, a, a great video from uh, Hong Kong Frontline Media, uh, which is also linked to my recent tweets, which actually shows uh, uh, during the riots, one senior police officer, you see, you might see uh, at the back there, one of the police officers wearing the white vest, they're the uh, senior officers. A senior officer was seen in quick succession throwing back three bricks at protesters. So the protesters were throwing bricks at the police and some of the police officers, uh, we've got a photo of at least one, video of at least one, and a senior officer at that picking up bricks and throwing them back at the protesters. These are, these are uh, police officers who have got years of training and experience. They're supposed to be uh, handle themselves under pressure. And, uh, and, and they acted with the same amount of anger and frustration and lack of control as, 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 these, as these teenagers who are, you know, who, who, have, who have none of those benefits. So, you know, it, it kind of undermines their, uh, their claim to rule of law and moral superiority. Because uh, when, when, uh, when these, these guys picking up bricks and throwing them back at, uh, at rioters, I've never heard of such a thing. In a, in a riot anywhere in the world there, that, uh, that, that, that the police actually abandoned their training and actually just start throwing back the missiles. I think the actual video of that, it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reshare the link again in my, in my Twitter feed uh, straight after this. But any of those arrested women? Yes, they, uh, there were, uh, uh, I think about something like, uh, there was, uh, the ages range from 15 to 70, and uh, I think it was, it was about two thirds men, one third women, um, roughly. I'm going, going from, uh, from, from vaguely memorised numbers. So yeah, making sure these people get their safe things like car. You see, we've still got still got lots of press up here. So at least these ones have been discreet with the zoom lenses. Uh, you know, unlike the crowd earlier, which will just ride around them, but uh, they don't have that option anymore. But, uh, thanks to supporters turning up, let them get away there. So. Okay, so that, I think that must be almost the last of the uh, of the, the, the charge protesters to come out there. If I see another taxi setup, I know that'll be it. So I'll probably uh, call this a minute. I'll just walk you around, show you the front of the building, show you where we are here today. This is the entrance coming out there. Oh, it looks like there are still more in there. You see they've actually got cardboard up on the window here as well. So these are, see, I've seen uh, some familiar faces from student groups. Earlier on we had members from Civic Passion. Uh, some of their members were arrested uh, the other day, and uh, uh, so some of those were here. I mean, some, some student groups that I saw, uh, Yvonne Long uh, was here a moment ago, and uh, I believe some of, the, some of the other student groups were around. But yet, no fewer than seven uh, Hong Kong student university unions have come out in, in, in unequivocal support of the uh, events of Monday night, which is uh, just. No, uh, you know, they they uh, they did condemn uh, got some incidents incidents that were against uh, some journalists, uh, one of which was almost certainly justified because TVB, which uh, you refer to often as uh, CCTVB, it's uh, they're they're very uh, uh, pro-China. Was actually trying to they had camera crews actually trying to rip face masks off of protesters to ID their face there, which led to them uh, getting into a bit of a conflict. But at that point, they'd stopped being journalists and they'd actually started. Um, uh, Serving an ulterior motive, but uh, but yeah, the fact that they have uh, they've 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 uh, basically condoned and supported and shown solidarity with the protesters who took those actions means that in future, if should the need arise again, you you may well see uh, it spread beyond just the localist groups that were involved on uh, Monday night, where there were hundreds of people in the streets chanting down with the CCP. Very much a political act. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't about fishbowls. Maybe in the spark, but it was not about fishbowls. 
So it looks like we've got at least one last one to come out. So there's, yeah, there's another taxi prepared down the end there. So they've got their, I think their workflow set up pretty well. So the TV cameras here, trying to get shots of them. We've got uh, more TV cameras here on, and then a whole series of uh, press with their zoom lenses. And uh, the, pro the, the supporters of the protest is not letting the cameras surround and, uh, and, and delay. Uh, their movement. I think it's a call. So yeah, so possibly the final group or one of the final groups being walked through to, to, to a waiting taxi. And so, a lot of people uh, got a bunch of older supporters as well here, making sure that there's a, there's a, there's a wall here so that uh, their, their faces are not going to be splashed across all this uh, pro-China media. Because a, a lot of the uh, newspapers and uh, TV stations here are actually uh, very much uh, pro-government, pro-China, uh, not, a, not, a, not, not a fair and free uh, depiction of things given to the public. So there were. So people have to take matters in their own hands. So I think that should probably uh, be it for me today. Thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, I do recommend uh, if, if, if you want to see how, how it was uh, several hours ago, uh, go to my Twitter uh, timeline, scroll back to about 12:30, and you'll see some 30-second videos of the actual press, the press of press, where just getting from this doorway here to a taxi waiting right here took three and a half minutes because of the uh, of, of the of the obnoxious and frankly disgraceful uh, tactics of, uh, of, of, of some of those uh, photographers there so I'm gonna leave it there uh, join us next time for more fun in Hong Kong thanks for watching bye